everyone, good morning. This fall I judged a ranch riding class and I was super surprised to learn that there were many riders who did not know or maybe understand the rules of ranch riding. So I thought I would tackle that topic today. But first, I better start with what ranch training is. The Appaloosa Club describes it as a class that measures the ability of the ranch horse to perform basic handling maneuvers with a natural headset and a forward looking manner. So basically, you're gonna need a horse who can do basic reining maneuvers and looks like an everyday ranch horse. Now, the reining patterns used in this class are not NRHA patterns, they're much more simplistic. The local level shows that are putting on the ranch reining classes are basically making reining accessible. All right, some hard and fast rules, but here's first my disclaimer. Now there are maybe some small differences in what you hear today, depending on what association and club you're showing. Rule number one, no nose bands. I'm gonna say that again for those in the back, no nose bands of any kind. Number two, boots, polos, and skid boots are allowed. Now let's talk about DQ, disqualified. If that's your plan, here's how you're gonna do it. Come in with a lame horse, number one. Two, illegal equipment, hint, hint, no nose bands. Number three, abuse your horse. Number two, leave the arena. You might have to get creative to make that happen. Number four, forget your cowboy hat. Number five, fall off your horse somewhere in your pattern. I'm actually kidding, nobody wants to be DQ'd. All right, let's chat about off pattern. So being off pattern in ranch training is not the same as in the NRHA. In ranch riding, you can go off pattern and you're basically at the bottom of the people who stayed on pattern. As an example, you can accidentally go left on your spin instead of right and still place. The other great thing about off pattern is that you still get a score on your entire pattern. The judge is required to continue scoring after you've gone off pattern and will continue to score until the end of your run. So while you may not come home with a check or a ribbon, you can still find your weakness and where to improve for your next run. Things that can get you into the OP category are adding a maneuver. As an example, backing out more than two strides. That's four steps for those of you who aren't good at math. Trotting more than half a circle or half the length of the arena when you're supposed to be loping. Obviously, this doesn't apply to those in the walk trot classes. Two hands on the reins, except of course in the classes that you're allowed to have two hands. Or holding your split or a mouse incorrectly. Blatant disobedience is another one. So for example, bucking, kicking out, and refusing to go forward. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe for parts two and three.